Hello, welcome to the Monday, August 9th, 2021 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Stockheim, Germany. On Friday, Xavier walked you through a yet another malicious Word document. What's, what's sort of special about this is not just that a reader submitted the document, but well, uh, this reader actually also clicked and executed the document by mistake. Common trick here, the sender was spoofed and resembled a known person uh, to the victim. So that's how it often happens. Uh, maybe the sender got also compromised himself or uh, sometimes even just accidentally uh, the email does look right or just matches uh, something that's uh, currently uh, going on. So Xavier took the opportunity to walk you through various obfuscation techniques here and how to recognize with uh, roughly simple means that this is a malicious document and what it is trying to accomplish. Abuse.ch for a while now is operating a malware bazaar and uh, what's sort of special and uh, I guess different uh, between malware bazaar and uh, virus total is that malware bazaar makes it easy to download a malicious sample. So great to get training material if you are uh, doing reverse analysis. Well, uh, they now added a new service. You can actually download a daily zip file with all the samples that they they received that particular day. They're created around midnight, but they're asking you not to download them exactly at midnight uh, because it takes a while for everything to sort of get sipped up and probably don't want to flood them uh, all with requests just at exactly the same time. A couple of months ago, I talked about how a number of languages, Perl and Python, for example, had a very similar vulnerability in that they didn't uh, validate IP address correctly, in particular, if the octal format was used. Well, uh, back then, as I mentioned, it uh, looks like pretty much all languages are affected about from this particular vulnerability. And uh, now we also have reports about Go and Rust, I guess they're a little bit late to the party here, but their respective net libraries are suffering from the same vulnerability. Root issue here is that IP addresses should never really sort of be treated as string. Use the sockets library to convert them uh, to a long integer and then do whatever uh, validation you need to do doing normal uh, net mask uh, techniques. And that usually tends to be much safer because the actual connection is then also established using the same sockets library. And researchers from the Blavatnik School of Computer Science in Tel Aviv and the School of Electrical Engineering in uh, Tel Aviv uh, did publish an interesting uh, paper showing some weaknesses in common facial recognition uh, algorithms. What essentially looked for was some master faces, as they called it, similar to a master key, basically faces that are similar enough to many other faces that they can be used for or facial recognition in order to authenticate. And what it came up with was nine specific faces that are covering a very large percentage of uh, the human population. So uh, that way, by using one of these nine faces, you could essentially uh, defeat a lot of facial recognition access control. Of course, all of this uh, depends on the precision and such of the facial recognition, what kind of cameras are being used, but uh, overall proves that, well, just with, like with passwords, uh, we don't all use sort of random passwords as we don't really have random faces. And it's time to patch Pulse Secure again. A vulnerability that came up last year, CVE 2020-8260, that has also been actively exploited, apparently wasn't completely patched and a new patch was now released that patches a bypass for the original patch. Now this was tracked under a new CVE, CVE 2021-2293-7.
And Chihu360 is reporting that they're seeing attacks against the Hadoop Research Manager exploiting a remote code execution vulnerability in order to install the Team TNT coin miner. Coin miners usually not installed by the most sophisticated groups out there. So this just indicates that uh, this is already a widely exploited vulnerability that you certainly need to pay attention to. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.